PowerShape 2015 gives us the ability to select multiple points on a curve or surface and edit them. So I'm going to demonstrate this by editing this bottle here. First of all, I'm just going to select my surface. I'm going to make sure that I've got no points selected. Then I'm going to hold down my shift key and draw a box around the top half of my bottle. This is going to select all of my points within that box. You can see that they've turned purple there. What I'm going to do is right click on one of these points and choose to edit them using their work plane graphic handles. I'm also going to edit the smoothing of the points. I'm actually going to turn that off. Then using my work plane graphic handle, I'm going to drag all my points up in the Z direction. You can see that I very quickly made my bottle taller. I think I want to adjust this pattern here so it's more central in my bottle. Again, I'm going to select my surface, holding down my shift key, I'm going to drag a box around all of the points that create my pattern, and using my work plane graphic handles, I'm going to pull it upwards like so. So the last thing that I want to do is just edit my pattern slightly. If I zoom into this area here, select my surface, I'm going to hold down my shift key, select all of the points along this curve, and then I'm going to select all of the points along this curve, still holding down my shift key. Again, pulling those up using my work plane graphic handles, I'm just going to input a value of 8 millimeters. You can see that I've quite quickly created a new bottle design using PowerShape 2015.